Can you use the GPS map 67i, and I would even say something like the Mini 2, on a trek from the airport up to the Mount Everest base camp? How does that work? Can you get a trail to show up? You're in another part of the world. Does Garmin even have a trail that's up there that goes to the base camp? The answer is yes, by the way. But is there other ways to download trails to make sure they show up when you get there, before you get there? Can you test it? Can you know? Well, somebody sent me a question this week and they, they're asking that question of, is there a trail that I could download, a route or a course where when I get there and they're going on, I think it's 35 or 40 mile backpacking trip from the airport up to the base camp. And so I spent some time with this person and we were going back and forth with how you do this. And we were talking about different apps and things like that. And we were talking about all trails. He has all trails. I have it also. Plus we both have the 67i. And what happened was I started looking and because I know you can do this. I know you can go to all trails and I, you may have to pay for a subscription, but you can download a GPX file or a KML or a KPX or whatever they are and different file types. And then you download them from all trails and then you can upload them to the explore.garmin map page. Page, and then you can also do it through connect or something like that. So there's multiple ways to do this. I was looking at it and I downloaded several file formats and I started with GPX. And when you download a GPX file from all trails, it's really simple to do. You go to all trails, you search for it. In this case, I searched for the Everest Base Camp Trek was what came up. And then when that comes up, then you can click on the top right. There's, I think maybe it says more, I believe. You click on more and then it says download. And then under download, then you can select different file formats. So I started with GPX. And then, so I went over to the explore.garmin site. And then on the top right, you can say download or it's not upload, it's download. And if anything's wrong here, I'm not saying it incorrectly, it, there'll be screenshots. So you can correct me in the description or down below if you want to leave a comment. Well, you can then download it. And there's two different things you can do. You can download a route or you can download it as a route or a track. Now it says there that it's recommended you download the track and not the route. There's something about the 67 I'll tell you right now. If I'm right here and I say, hey, I want to go navigate someplace and there's trails around here, I can create a course. Now there's a difference between a route and a course. If you have a choice, always go course. Routes will put down basically waypoints and it's not near as good. A course will follow something very exactly and I love that. If this person here, if you're up at the trail or the airport and and, uh, to go to Everest, you can then create a course real quick and say, hey, I'm here at the airport. I want to go to the base camp. And there is a trail up there on the Garmin map. And then it will follow that trail to a, within a foot or two. Really great. So course is better than route. So the first thing I did is I uploaded that map to or downloaded it to the Garmin site, but I did it as a route and as in a GPX file format. And it came in and, but what the thing is, this is why I don't like routes. It came in with with a whole lot more than 200 points. And Garmin limits you to 200 points on a route. That's why I don't like it because then it'll start taking out some of those points. So you're gonna lose accuracy. That's not the case on a course. So it did, it took away some of it, but I looked at it afterwards and it still defined the course pretty well, but they're basically like waypoints. And then I went back and to the All Trails app or I was on the computer doing this. And then I downloaded a KMZ file and a KML, I believe. So I went back over to, to the Garmin site, the explore.garmin site, and then I, instead of doing the download as a route, I downloaded as a track. And then I tried importing the GPX, and then I think it maybe it was a KML. If I have these wrong, you're gonna see it all on the screen. So I tried to download the GPX course. It wouldn't let me do it as a track. Then I tried, I think it was a KML and it wouldn't let me do it. I think it was the KMZ file. It finally let me download because it'll actually say when you go and you try to download something to the Garmin site, it'll give you the, I think four different formats it allows, but it didn't let me download two of them, but it did finally allow the one. And then it still puts down points, but it was more accurate. I was comparing the two and as a KMZ file, it was more accurate. It wasn't right on the trail because I zoomed into that trail that goes up to the Everest Base Camp and you could see the trail on the aerial, but then the map or the, I'm sorry, the, the track or the course was a little bit off, but it was in within 50 feet or so, but it, so it was really accurate. 
I just would rather do a course, but that's how you do it. You just, whatever app you have, you download a format and you may have to play with this a little bit because Garmin may not accept something and you may like one format versus another, but I did that. I played with it. I found the ones that worked, the ones I liked better and got it to work. I was able to then, you have to sync it with your device. So that's the last point here I'm going to make is if you do this with the explorer.garmin site, it's the map page, then once you pull those in and I'm going to add, I got to add something else real quick. I created a collection and it was called Everest Base Camp or something. So I created that collection first because then you can import things to the collection. I kind of back up just a second. So once you do the collection, then you download it and you can download it to that collection. And I think it downloaded it as a track. And so then I had that course or track on the explore.garmin site. And then it says at the top, it'll come up with like a pink or kind of a red warning. And it'll say you have to sync it first. So once that was done, then the Garmin Express software, it's a different piece of software. It's on your computer. And then you hook up your device to it and it'll look for updates to the software, things like that. If you want to update your maps or add maps, and if you have Outdoor Maps Plus, that's where you do that. But that's also where it syncs. And so then it's synced to the device. I was able to look on my device and when I was synced to my explore app and I could see the route on both of them so I went in looked at the collection I was able to see it on both now I know that when I get to the airport I'm not going but whoever's going when you get to the airport because you, you always test it here first and then you'll have it and you know that you have it being synced with your smartphone you have it on your device also always make sure you double check this stuff before you go out especially if you're going to Everest and I'm here in Colorado in the United States you don't want to be trying to figure this out at the airport and going how does this work now it may work in fact, I believe if you went there, because I downloaded the map for Asia, Central Asia, something like that, to this using Outdoor Maps Plus. So I know, I'm pretty confident if I'd get there, I'd be able to go, okay, search, and I'd be able to use the map, or I'd be able to actually search for it with my phone or something, and find the base camp, and then create course, and it would work. But you don't want to do that. You really want to make sure you're ready ahead of time. So that's all that happened with making sure that it all worked, and that's why I want to make this video. So if anybody else is going anywhere in the world you don't have to just rely on trails or courses that are within the topo active map that comes with the 67i you can download a map from other apps and then import them i hope that helps so if you have any questions comments you may be like using gaia or some other app to download tracks or courses. Let me know. I am really just touching on this. Even though I was spending a lot of time with this, there's more to learn and there may be better ways to do things. So I'd love to hear your advice, your thoughts and comments. So please leave those comments below. Thanks for joining me here in Colorado at Outdoor Emergency Tech and I'll see you back out here in another video.